What's up, creative people? This is Michael Anthony. This is my new art studio uh, coming soon. It's a little messy right now, but in time it will look really nice. See, that happened. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to make a holiday yard prop, a present box. Uh, so we have our green, we have our blue. So let's do one more together. I'll show you a step-by-step -step tutorial and you can follow along. So please enjoy and stay tuned. First, we'll start with a box. I like to use the HelloFresh ones, but you can use any kind you want. And then I just put a heavy rock on the inside. So if I decide to put it outside, it won't blow away in the wind. And then I just go to Home Depot and get some white Gorilla Tape. This stuff is really sturdy and very strong, so I like to use this stuff, but you can really use any kind of crafting tape. And I just work my way all around the box until it is completely covered on all four sides, just wrapping over and over again. Now with the two, with these top flaps here where the tape is overlapping, I just fold them down so it's flush. You'll cover this with tape on this side later. I just continue on taping around the other four sides. Flip it over. <laughs> Hello. And then I fold down the access tape flaps here as well. All that's left is to cover the two remaining open sides with the tape so no water can get on the inside. Water or snow, whatever it might be, whatever, whatever outdoor weather conditions you have. And there you go. This is what your present box should look like starting out. Fully wrapped with white Gorilla Tape, which makes it weatherproof, quite sturdy. You got the rock inside. Now comes the ribbon. I'll give you a few minutes to catch up. Just pause the video here and come back when you're ready. And I'll see you here shortly. Now, with the ribbon, I just get some red crafting tape from Michaels or Home Depot. And much like when you start with the white tape, I begin in the middle and I wrap the box all the way around until the tape connects on all four sides. Then I make this sort of X pattern on the top here and go this direction until they all connect. For a thicker ribbon, just use a little more tape like this. All right, you made it this far. You have got your white and red Christmas box. Now comes the lights and the bow. Now let's find the lights. I just use regular holiday string lights, uh, the shortest ones you can find. Um, I just have to untangle these first. We'll be right back. Now for the string of lights, I just tape the female end up right at the top and start wrapping the string of lights all the way around the box multiple times until I come back here to the female end on the top and then I just tie it around the other direction and then just continue to wrap over and over again until most of the whole string of lights has been used adding pieces of tape as I go along the way to keep it in place. I leave a little extra, that way I can plug it in, just like that. Put a few more extra pieces of tape if you feel the need to, it will keep the string of lights in place. Now for the bow, I just get the one from Home Depot that has the twisty ties on it. So I wrap it around the female end like this, and there you go. 
here we are, your finished present box. Let's see what it looks like plugged in. There she is. Wonderful decoration that you can put inside or outside. I had fun with this project. I hope you did too. Please like and subscribe. And as always, stay creative. We'll see you next time.